hello guys welcome to the video in this video i'm going to be showing you 10 different websites you can find teaching materials for free now on this website you'll be able to find things like worksheets games and activities and even lesson plans that you can use to teach your students the first on the list is pinterest now pinterest is basically the first tool that pops up in my head when i want to look for any teaching material so i just go on the search bar and type in what i want and you're going to see the different worksheet that will give you right here. you can just download it by clicking on these three dots and you see the download option and you can just save it up in your laptop or if you want to work directly on pinterest you can also do that just click on the material or the worksheet and scroll down where you see view image just click on it and you can zoom the image and work with your students right here on pinterest now to do this you need to use a video conferencing tool like zoom uh, where you can just open up zoom and then use the annotation tool and you annotate directly on the worksheet with your student and just like i said you can find worksheets for different subjects right here in pinterest let's try maths i'm just going to type in maths calcul uh, calculus and you're going to see the different worksheets that they'll give right here you can also use pinterest like an inspiration in case you don't want to use any of the worksheets right here you can just um, use it as an inspiration and then go up to canva and make your own worksheet for free okay the next on our list is the isl collective now this is another great tool that i like to use in my class you can find worksheets right here powerpoint slides even video lessons that you can use in your class and you can also download it and leave it in your laptop if you want to use it for later by just clicking on the download button right here and you can also check out some of the powerpoint slides that they have right here just click and you can scroll down and see so many different powerpoint games that you can use in your class and if you like you can also download it and use it later on or you can just simply work with your students directly on their platform you can also find some very interesting conversational practice slides right here that are basically different categories you can choose the one you like for example like this family um, practice you can use it there are so many questions on it you can use it and ask your students and you guys it's just very interactive they also have video lessons that you can use in your class there are so many videos that you can use for different level of students and you can also create your own video lesson or quiz so you can make a personalized video if you want for your students so you can there's a video tutorial that shows you how to do that and it's totally free and you can find videos based on the level of your students so you can find videos ranging from beginners to the experts level right here Okay, the next tool on our list is Dream English. Now, the home page basically tells you that you'll find resources that are meant to teach kids only. But who is to say you cannot use it to teach adults? I think you can definitely find something that you can use to teach your adult students, right? So they have um, free songs, free videos that you can use to entertain your students while in class but if that doesn't suit you then you can check out the next tool on our list which is bamboozle right here you're going to find so many different games that you can use in your class and you can also make your own game if you want by clicking on the make games option and it's totally free but if you're as lazy as i am i like to just play the game right here and you're going to see so many different games there are animal games pokemon games trivia games food games basically any game that you can think of they have it right here you could also just go to the search bar and type the type of games as you like and you can find games too in different languages featured games uh, how popular they are and at what time they were even posted on the platform so you find games that were posted last year this month so there are so many different games that you can definitely use on the platform they also have different options on the right where you can just hide the image you can even hide the text you can even open it in full screen and use it to teach your students. So you can basically just play around with each slide depending on how you want to teach your students. okay the next resource on our list is english w sheets right here you'll find so many different english worksheets that you can use to teach your students you can find worksheets on adjectives adverbs so um, basically anything that you can think of when you want to teach your students in english language so there are also reading worksheets grammar worksheets as you can use right here and again you can also work directly with your students on the platform if you don't want to download the worksheet to find a worksheet you can simply just go to the search bar and type 
type the type of worksheet that you like and it will pop up right here and you can just download it or work with the student directly on the platform okay the next resource on our list is teaching english.uk now this is brought to you by the british council here you're going to find high quality resources that you can use ranging from videos to newsletters articles and right here you can find different resources that you can teach different categories of students ranging from primary level even to the adult level this is one of the best platforms that you can find resources to teach adults and you're going to find a lot of high quality business english resources like how to write a business letter so you find a lot of worksheets that you can use to teach your students so this is basically the best platform that you can find high quality english resources if you are teaching adults that are working professionals because as you well know most adults who want to learn English language do so because of job related purposes so you might want to use this resource to find high quality um, business English resources that you can use to teach them and again you can find resources that are meant to teach primary level students and also secondary school level students okay the next two on our list is ESL discussions right here you're going to find high quality interactive questions that you can use with your students so you find questions in different categories and in different topics that you can definitely use like business um, i like to use this when i'm teaching my adult students so these are some of the questions that you can use to teach them or to ask them so these two i like to use especially when i'm teaching like the first lesson for each of my students i like to just grab this um, one of the resources right here and use it to ask questions and get responses from the students so it's basically a tool that can help you start up a conversation or a discussion with your student our next tool is called word wall with this tool you can make custom activities for your students like quizzes matchups word games and so much more just like a state it's totally free all you need to do is to pick up a template and start customizing it for example this is a missing word template just click on it to start playing all you need to do is to just drag the answers on top and put it inside the box you can also see the time it takes you to finish each of the uh, question so it's a great resources that you can ask the students to work with you can also share this template to your google classroom if in case you are using um, google classroom to teach and maybe you don't want to work on this particular template inside word wall then you can share it to your google classroom and work directly with your students there you can also embed it into your website and if you don't have a website you can just send the link to this template to your students by email Just check out this family game show. So if you don't want to work with your students elsewhere, then you can directly work with them on the platform by using Zoom. Now, if you don't know how to use Zoom to teach, I'm going to leave a link to the tutorial in the description box. So you can go watch it after this video. Okay, the next tool is ESL Flu. With this tool, you're going to find a lot of reading and speaking exercises that you can use to teach your students. And of course, you can find them based on the level of each of your students. So you're going to find reading and speaking exercises for beginners level right up to the expert level. Each worksheet has a voice recording that uh, corresponds to what is written on the paper. When you open up a worksheet, you're going to see some questions that are attached to it that you can use to ask the students after reading. And you're also going to see the answers of the questions. Now, if you like, you can also just download it and use it later on. This is another great exercise that I like to use, um, conversation. So the students are supposed to use the words that they see on the paper to write a conversation between two people about their childhood. There is also an exercise at the bottom of the page that you can first of all use to practice with your students before they can actually start writing their conversations themselves. So this is definitely a tool that I think you'll find resourceful if you want to teach English online. Okay, the next tool, which is a bonus tool, is IXL. Now, this one is not for those who teach English online, but for those who teach maths. Right here, you find math resources and activities that you can use to teach your students. You can find math activities of students up to grade 12. For example, activities on quadratics, trigonometry. So, there are so many different things that you can find, logarithm, uh, functions. So, you can definitely use this to work with your students. 
when you open up a topic you're going to see some sample questions that will give you for example this one solve for m so the students just need to write their correct answers in the box you could also work with examples by clicking learn with examples and you'll find a similar question that i've already solved so they give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to solve the question then you can just come back and then solve the question and then write the correct answer within the box so as an online math teacher this is definitely a handy resource that you can use to teach your students you could also use it to prepare your lesson notes or probably just to give your students to work on it on their spare time so that is it for me today if you like this video or if this video was helpful in any way please consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post source content thank you for watching